the last four games between the Redskins and the Cowboys had been settled by a total of 10 points in the total time of one minute and 41 seconds to play. Every meeting between these two teams is a guarantee for wide open anything goes football. Last Sunday's game followed true to form. But through the first one and one half periods of play, defense was the dominant factor as neither team could manage a score. In the second quarter, Sonny Jurgensen broke the scoreless deadlock with a 29 yard shot to tight end Jerry Smith. The Cowboys took the ensuing kickoff and on the arm of Don Meredith marched 74 yards in 10 plays to score. Using Bob Hayes, number 22, as his primary target, Meredith drove Dallas to the six yard line. On second down from the six, Meredith passed to Lance Renzel on a quick post for a touchdown. But the extra point was missed and the Redskins still led seven to six. With two minutes left in the half, Jorgensen connected on four straight passes. This one to Bobby Mitchell was the longest, covering 30 yards. This one to Jerry Smith was the shortest, but the most important. It covered only four yards, but it put Washington ahead 14 to six at the half. In the third period, the Cowboys switched into double coverage on tight end Jerry Smith, who had scored both of Washington's touchdowns. With two defensive backs concerned with Smith, Halfback A.D. Whitfield, number 25, was left one-on-one -on -one with Dallas corner linebackers. Two quick passes from Jurgensen to Whitfield resulted in another Washington touchdown. Gene Mingo's kick was blocked and Washington led 20 to 6. The Cowboys launched a counterattack with Dan Reeves firing to Lance Renzel for 33 yards. For the Cowboys on the Redskin four, rookie cornerback Dick Smith squelched the Dallas threat with a fingertip interception in the end zone. In the final quarter, the Redskins offensive line continued to give Jurgensen plenty of working room against a Dallas defense that had been leading the NFL in throwing passers for losses. Not once was Jurgensen thrown for a loss as he completed 23 of 33 passes for 265 yards. This touchdown pass to Bobby Mitchell marked the second time this season that Jurgensen has thrown for four touchdowns in a single game. The touchdown also moved Washington farther ahead, 27 to 6, with 11 minutes to play. Although trailing by three touchdowns, the Cowboys refused to quit. Craig Morton replaced the ailing Don Meredith and pinpointed Lance Renzel for 20 yards.
On a fourth and goal situation on the Washington 16, Morton hit Frank Clark for a touchdown to cut the Redskin lead to 14 points. With six minutes to play, Villanueva's onside kickoff was recovered by Dave Edwards of Dallas on the Washington 43. Sixty seconds later, on a rollout, Morton passed to Pettis Norman for a touchdown. But the Cowboys' gallant comeback fell short as time ran out and the Redskins held on to win 27 to 20.